Hello Virgos, this is your reading for May 2019. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We have a star there that just showed itself here. It's all about healing. All about being thankful. Okay. Having hope. Having hope for something better. <clears throat> better opportunity. Healing energy here. Could be an Aquarius you guys are dealing with. And then we have the Knight of Cups there. Somebody coming in with an offer. There's somebody here that feels like you guys are meant to be together, that you're the one. And um, I'm feeling that they want to express something to you. They want to tell you that if they haven't already told you that. Somebody feels you pulling away from them. They almost see you as untouchable, unreachable. Okay? Then we have the King of Cups energy there. This person's been trying to get themselves together. Emotionally. And I feel like this is this is this individual not really expressing a whole lot to you or not really showing a whole lot to you. Now, this person definitely cares and loves you, cares for you and loves you, I feel. But I don't get that this person's been very active by, you know, showing you how they feel about you. And I'm feeling like this this anxious energy of needing to really put forth some effort here, okay? And then we have the Queen of Pentacles there. Mm. This is you, this Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like, you know, this is you guys just being concerned with your everyday living circumstances here. I'm getting from a lot of you that you're not really that concerned right now with how this person feels. You're really not. I'm seeing that for them it's all about how they feel and, and trying to draw you back in um, to being like sold on this connection, sold on this relationship. But I see you guys really just about that money, like um, having the financial security and the support that you need. It's like, do that. You know, that's what I want you to do. I know you care about me. So you flooding me with emotions and I love yous and please don't walk away from me or please come back to me. It's like, you don't need that. You just want somebody to be able to hold their own. You just want to be um, financially stable is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> Pull this card. This one wanted to come out here. And then we have Justice. Doing what's right. I feel you guys just minding your own. Um, I don't get the sense that you're doing anything to make this person feel like they have to be over the top with how they express themselves. I just see you having gone through something here. And you are just really wanting the skills to be balanced. You want you're wanting something to be brought to the table here from this other individual. You're wanting an equal give and take here. Mm. What is this? Sometimes I have the hardest time picking up these freaking cards. <laughs> Hold on guys. 
And then we have the Princess of Swords there. Which is also the Page of Swords energy. Just kind of peeping things out. And the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this individual I'm feeling, they know that they're not doing, they're not basically carrying their own. Um, they see that you are working very hard and they know they have to match you. They know they have to match you. And then we have the five of wands there. And I feel like this is something that you guys, you know, either have thought about or fighting about, or this is like ongoing. You know, the fact that you're wanting somebody that matches you. You're wanting somebody that can hold their own. And I feel like right now you're just no nonsense in this situation. Hmm. What other energies coming in for Virgo? Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Mm. And the Page of Swords. You're really thinking about investing elsewhere, investing by yourself. Thinking about what's good for you at this point. You're thinking about what's good for you at this point. And this individual is trying to figure out whether or not, you know, you're ready to walk away from them or stay away from them even and not continue to work on this connection. And I see you're struggling with it. I see you're struggling with staying here and working on a situation with someone or deciding to invest somewhere else. You're trying to figure out what's best for you. What's best for you? Because there, there's something in you that's feeling like, and then we have the Knight of Cups energy there. There's something in you that's feeling like what's best for you is to leave somebody behind here that Knight of Cups energy and then we have the Devil energy there but what I'm getting is that there's somebody you know this person's very attached to you very attached to you I feel like this is a very codependent relationship one where one of you is dependent upon the other for more of um, a financial stability and maybe the you know you guys there there's something in you that wants to save somebody here wanting to be there for this person regardless feeling needed feeling wanted but I see that it's it's really weighing on you because it's like I, I'm feeling that Taking care of people is what you do, innately, naturally. But I feel that what the other person has to offer, you feel like only comes in the form of like emotional expression, that there's not very many layers to it other than that. And I feel you need more, you want more. You're questioning whether or not this is the right relationship for you, the right connection for you guys here. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Libra, maybe Gemini energy. I feel strong Scorpio energies here. Um, could be Cancer, Pisces as well with this water energy. Uh, Leo's here, Taurus and um, Capricorn energy okay so that is what I have for you guys for May and I'll be speaking with you soon